Uh, I want to turn to some recent news. Federal prosecutors alleged last week that some members of a local Teamsters union, including the local secretary treasurer um, who opposed the use of non-union uh, non workers on the television show Top Chef, were involved in an extortion scheme. The state Republican Party has called on you to return campaign cash you've received from uh, Teamsters Local 25. Will you? No. Um, Why not? And, well, look, I, I think you got to sort of look at it for what it is. Uh, these are allegations. They're serious allegations, and I denounce the alleged conduct, certainly, particularly as a civil rights lawyer, if any of this turns out to be true, I denounce that kind of conduct uh, vehemently. That said, you sort of, it's important to look at sort of uh, what this is, and these are allegations made against four members of an organization, and so I, I think it's important to separate that. And Teamsters, uh, to be specific about Teamsters, I'll tell you a little bit about Teamsters. Um, Teamsters was a, a union and organization that has long stood to support working men and women and their families in this state. They actually were the union, that, I think the only union to endorse three women in the Democratic primary for constitutional office, which I think says something about where they are on, on women and equality. And I've worked with them on, on issues relating to children with disabilities. They do an awful lot in our communities and across the state uh, to, to work on behalf of, of children with disabilities. So. That's where I am on, on that issue. I mean, I think the GOP's effort is obviously political. You're a Democrat. Really? Really. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. I'm new to this, Josh, this business still. I'm Surprise. Still, yeah. um, but I think that their underlying, you know, underlying their call for you to return the money is that you're in a sensitive position as attorney general. Your office could end up investigating the Teamsters and having gotten money from them could create the appearance of something unseemly, at least according to your political opponents. What's your response to that? Well, I, look, I, I think those are a lot of dots to, to string together. And, you know, I, I basically stand by what I just said to you. I, I think it's important to separate uh, sort of the facts from, from what's alleged here. And also that, um, you know, let me just say, of course, to the extent there is any ever any appearance of conflict uh, with anything that my office is doing, I know how important it is to, to address that and to take every step possible to make sure there isn't uh, not just a conflict but also the appearance of conflict right. so I take that really seriously and and hope to always act in responsible ways just one more question on this you're at least have the appearance of being particularly close with the teamsters if I'm not mistaken they were the first and only union to endorse you in the primary is that right you you might remember I had a little trouble with labor um, <laughs> in my in my primary for understandable reasons um, but um, uh, but the teamsters were the, f the first union to support me. They supported Martha Coakley. They supported Deb Goldberg. Again, uh, you know, a few of those were contested Democratic primaries, but they were willing to come out and support women uh, who were running against male opponents in, in those primary races. And yes, I live in Charlestown, so it, I'm literally close to them because they're, you know, probably all of a mile down the other end of, of the neighborhood. Yeah, and there's also a uh a photograph on your campaign website, a picture of you with a caption, riding with Teamsters Local 25, where you appear on a motorcycle wearing a jacket with the union's logo on it. So given those three things, is there, I mean, how do you sort of dispel any appearance of closeness to them or show your impartiality? I couldn't turn down and sitting on a Harley. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Um, if, 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 you know, look, uh, I don't know how many uh, thousands of pictures there are with me with any number of folks. I took a lot of pictures uh, during the course of uh, the last couple of years, so I don't, I don't think people would, would, uh, would, would judge by, by that. But, uh, you know, look, I, I, as I say, I stand by the values of, of labor unions. I stand by what this particular union has been about and has been fighting for, um, you know, and that's, that's what it is. So.